ask people where's birria from, most people say it's from Jalisco. And they're right. And one of the most famous places for Jalisco is in Guadalajara. There's a place called there, Nueve Esquinas. There's nine corners. My dad would always tell us the story that that was one of the most famous places we would go there and there would be different birrerias there. So Jalisco was given the credit for, for creating the birria. We're from a small town called Nochislan, Zacatecas. That town is uh, surrounded by Jalisco. There's different cities. And that small town in 1532 was actually the first Guadalajara. They designated it as Guadalajara and it was there for about 18 months and they realized that there, was in, there wasn't enough water to sustain the future growth of that city. So they, they moved it over to Tonalá. And um, so we were actually the first Guadalajara was where the birria came from. I can go back four generations when we, we did birria and my, my dad would tell us a story and he would hear the story as well, how the dish became. So traditionally what they would do is they would cook the, the birria underground, they would dig a hole out, put the, the wood and they would put uh, agave plants and they would wrap it up, salt it and then uh, cover it up and then you know six, seven, eight hours later it come out. So on one of those occasions when they took the, the, the birria out, they would, they would put it on the table, people would come by and they would serve it. They, would, they had their salsas in those big mocajetes and uh, they, they make the tortillas and you, you would get in the dish, you get your salsa on the side and you make a taco like you would now at home. You get put the meat in, put your salsa, your condiments and you would eat it at, at your festival. This time, however, when they when they took it out, as they're walking over to the table and they're gonna put it on the table, it leaned over and the juices, when the meat gets cooked, it, it, it releases all these juices, fell into the bowl of, of the mocajete sauce. And now, you know, what do you do? Now it's 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 mixed. So what they did was they got the salsa. Well, most people eat salsa anyways, we'll just put it on top. Well, what happened is it was spicy because of the sauce that came in. since. It was enough to, to disrupt it, so what they had to do, they had, had all of it in there to kind of dilute it. So it was spicy, but not too spicy. That became the sauce that they put on media. So if you go to Jalisco, most of the places in Jalisco, they'll give you the meat and they'll put the sauce over it, like a broth, like a stew. And that's how it's served. In other regions, they serve it differently. They, they serve it in a bowl, like a, like a, like a soup. The one, the one in Jalisco, they serve it in a plate with a little bit of sauce on it. And then uh, in other areas, it's dry. So depending on what region, but the most popular, most famous is the one from Jalisco, and they, they put it on a flat plate and they, they sprinkle the sauce over it. So that's how the beer was born. That's how the beer that we know as Estilo Jalisco is how we came up with it as far as how it was done in, in our small town. And it translated over, I'm not, I can't go that far back and say that we were the only ones who did it, but that's what, that's our story. That's how we create that type, that style of beer. So when I say we, I'm, I'm referring to how we, Chalillos, how they began serving the birria. So uh, I don't know. I don't know if anybody knows how the, the origin or the, how how it transformed over the years. Because there's certain regions that cook it differently. There's certain regions that cook different styles. There's certain regions that cook beef. Certain regions pork. pork. I've even heard of people make it out of chicken. And now they even put ramen and all that stuff in. So there's different things. But the way we, our family, our our history, the the birrios in our family, that's how our story how it began. Did it translate into other, I don't know, I, I couldn't say that with 100% certainty, but I'd like to believe that we were the ones that, that created that, that mold since we were, like I said, we were the first in Guadalajara. We were the ones that were in that general area. And that's where the dish became popular.